Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. This is another tip in under five minutes, and this one will be how not to create bottle bombs, part two. We've all heard the stories: bottles exploding, uh, glass everywhere, plastic ones, the PET ones, they explode. Also, I've seen them expand so big that they split and create a big mess. Not so dangerous um, because there's no glass, but these. Bottles, whether they be capped ones, like uh, crown seal ones, or um, swing top, they will explode. Definitely. I've already been through one part in under five minutes of how not to do that. This is another part. Um, in the first part, watch the first part first, obviously. Watch this part. This part is about making sure that our yeast has attenuated properly. Um, in the first part, I did discuss adding too much sugar to your uh, bottle to get more alcohol out of it. This part will be making sure you're not doing that via your liquid you transfer to it. You need to make sure your fermentation has ceased completely. Um, you need to use your hydrometer. You need to use your hydrometer and take regular readings. Once you've seen the croissant disappear, and all that stuff dissipate, then you need to start taking readings. I generally just um, uh, clean this and drop it in there. And every day I just go and have a look and you'll see where, where it's sitting. And if it hasn't moved in a couple of days, then you can, you can be confident enough that the yeast has eaten enough sugar. So then you transfer your liquid into your bottles with your priming sugar in it. That way, you're not transferring sugar that hasn't been eaten yet into your bottle and making bottle bombs. If your, if your yeast hasn't finished doing its job in the fermenter, you will be transferring sugar over into your bottles. That's a fact. And then you go and add your teaspoon of sugar or your little drop that you put in. Um, we've all used them, we've all done them, seen them, little carb drops. Um, I think they're a half a teaspoon. You add two to a tallie, you add one to a 375 ml bottle. If your yeast hasn't finished attenuating properly, you will then be adding more sugar to that as well, thus creating another bottle bomb. Trust your hydrometer. Trust your. Um, if, if you don't. Um, if you don't. If you're too new and you're not sure, ask your brew supplier, the person that you bought the brew off. Um, ask, jump online, talk to people. But um, my general tip is is trust your hydrometer. If your hydrometer reads um, the same over a few days, then be confident that your fermentation has finished, and you can transfer your wort over safely. A lot of people in the states and around they do um, they wrap over into secondaries and leave it for a, a week or so in a secondary as well. That's, that's a perfectly okay process. I've never done it. I don't need to do it. Um, with kegging, you can pull it off whenever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, you're not going to blow a keg up. Um, yeah, rambling, trying to think. Yes, don't. Make sure, make sure your <laughs> word is fermented out completely before you bottle. Remember, beer makes you smarter.